Good evening. Coming to you with a quick word from a word of encouragement and admonishment from Isaiah 56 and 1. And it reads, Thus said the Lord, Keep ye judgment and do justice, for my salvation is near to come and my righteousness to be revealed. God is telling us to keep living right. Keep doing the right thing. Keep living holy. Keep seeking Him and His Word. Stay in alignment. Do justice. Do the right thing. Do what is becoming a child of the Most High. Do what is befitting a brother or sister of Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach. Do what is befitting a child of the King. You are royalty. You are the head and not the tail. Carry yourself that way. You are above and not beneath. That don't mean be proud and lift it up. But that means know that you are not the low, the the lesser. Know that you are not the lowest. How, How Satan has tried to trample over you, over your feelings. It made you feel like you don't matter or less than or not good enough. No. You are above. You are heavenly and not beneath. Not a not a evil, not a wicked one. You are heavenly. Says for my salvation is near to come. Repent, for the kingdom of God is at hand. Jesus Yeshua Hamashiach is soon to return. He is soon to return. Even at the door. Even at the door. God is about to settle some things. He is about to sew some things up from the front to the back. Because we are in the last days. Ain't no we coming up on the last ones. We in them. We are living them. They playing out right before our eyes. We are living in prophetic fulfillment. And so for all of those that doubted, that said that the word of God wasn't real, that it was, you know, a uh, man-made weapon of control. That's a lie from the pit. The word has power. And, you know, I don't know where it come from, but it's true when it says that the Bible is basic instruction before leaving earth. His children know this. We live this. His word is alive. And it is powerful and it is true. To us. You know, I I pray that an unbeliever hear this word and, and try it out for yourself. Because his word applies. I don't care what you're going through in your life. His word still applies. 
you can find something in it that will relate to you in your circumstance and your situation. And you will see that God has not forgotten about you. And that when his word came forth all those years ago, it had you in mind. He had you in mind. In your circumstances. And nothing could happen to you without his will or his approval. When you belong to him. Now when you out of your will, you take a chance. Out of his will, you take a chances. And, and, and so being out of his will takes you off from under the umbrella of safety. Under, under the wings. In the shadow of safety. So, you know, get in alignment. Repent for your salvation is near. And his righteousness to be revealed. I want you to be encouraged, children of the Most High, Royal Priesthood, brothers and sisters of Christ, Hamashiach. Be encouraged. Because his righteousness is getting ready to be revealed. You know, to us it's already been revealed. But it's about to be revealed to the world. Not just to us only, but to the world. So that means promises is going to be fulfilled because he is fulfilling his word. He gave us his word. And we know he don't lie. He can't. He is not a man that he should lie. He don't sleep. So he he been watching us all this time. And he don't forget. He not sleeping on us. And he ain't forgot about us. And he is about to let us know. And he is about to let the world know too. That we are his children. That we are his heritage. And and it's it's not for, you know, our sake that he does this. Because his words say, but for his great name's sake is the reason he's doing this. What he's about to do. He about to show and prove. All those that didn't believe that had the chance. He about to show and prove. All the naysayers, all the the atheists, all the ones who who said he wasn't real, all the ones who tried to put their mouth on him, he is about to show up and show out. His righteousness is getting ready to be revealed. So repent. And be saved. Confess your sins. Go to him and confess your sins. Accept the Yeshua. Jesus Christ in your heart. And you shall be saved. Believe on him. Thank you, Most High. So, to his children, be encouraged. Keep standing in faith. I love you, and God loves you with the mighty, mighty love. Good night.